Hello, 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 and welcome to another Raw Game Red Dragon cast with me, Vang Roo. And today we have another Run V1 from the Rookie War Game Bootcamp Discord Tournament. And well, on the left hand side in the blue, we have ourselves Tome playing as a US national deck. And on the right hand side in red, we have Arkwood playing as a classic Finnish Polish coalition. And yeah, it's just be a pretty interesting run. You don't really see US National being played all that often. It's usually one of those very weird decks, kind of like the Soviets, where they have very good vehicles and helicopters and that sort of firepower. But the infantry is a little bit like Cluster, while of course the Finns and the Poles are an extremely and probably too strong uh, combination. But as you see up north, Arkwood are rushing to go very effectively. You're going to be taking out village sector. And as we see, usually on this map, capturing this site of Gulf from, well, the Delta spawn is very important as you can completely shut down this entire area very quickly. And you can put some pretty good headway into Foxtrot as well from holding this position. He has Melissa and Lodi infantry, got ATGM troops, some good Panzer troops as well. As well as some recon troops, which are going to be rushing up. They might be able to get a helicopter snipe or two. They do get into a good defensive position. And Tome has definitely been forced to pull back quite a bit. Not rushing to go for as so much to speak. He's been forced to unload earlier. If he does have his HA Abrams. And there's not a whole lot of heavy anti-tank firepower here. Really just at one ATGM troop. We now see some smoke being deployed. I think just a lock off any ATGM fire, so to speak. And the riflemen and the rangers are going to try and clear this forest of the Panzer Jakaris. Now, I could actually get some more recon troops, those sneaky Finnish recon guys with the Iglers, I believe the Iglers, uh, Igler missiles, to try and flank around north of Echo here. You can land him somewhere up here and start rushing him down into Echo. You could actually get a very nice little CV snipe. Yeah, Foxtrot is very quiet. Neither side really pushing into here. But we are seeing a bit of fighting down into Bravo. As we do have these Polish troops moving in. There is quite a few Marines and Rangers here. And if this LVTP can get into the action, they can definitely turn the tide of the firefight. There we go. That's the only student in the, uh, APC, so not doing too much. But Tome is doing pretty good, so to speak, as he's getting that nice and easy plus two point advantage. As Arkra definitely invested very heavy in frontline troops, getting nothing into Charlie command vehicle, right? So he really needs to try and stem that bleed at some point. I'm guessing once he's got a more secure hold on Gulf, which is actually starting to look a bit strenuous. We've got a Chappelle here, or Chaparro, I should so to say, actually sniping his Super Pumas, trying to get that flank. A very good position in there for me, anti air. So it does go down. Oh, he manages to shoot down the last Puma before it can make its flank. Very rare for our kills. Definitely going to be saving his Echo CV. A lot of hassle later on down the line. And of the infantry being pushed out, Tom could easily get into the village side of Gulf. So this is very good for him, positioning rise. As you definitely want to try and have at least something in Gulf. You can't really afford to fully lose it as an opponent on the left hand side. And Arkwood really only has a few light vehicles here left, and they're just going to go down to river and firepower. H.C. Abrams does come up to try and finish the job. And the Humvees are going to rush into the town to secure it. Yeah, this is going pretty well for Tome. He's got a pretty huge point advantage still. We really need to see a CV from Arkwood, because he really can't be affording to lose this many points so early on. I mean, Bravo's pretty much fully under Tome's control. Foxtrot is... Really, anything can go here. Yeah, we do have some sissies in a rather nice little position. Really more useful if he sees the CV being brought up into Foxtrot. He could just spot it and then snipe it with artillery, so to speak. Humvees is going to be rushing to their death. Doing the classic five point transport maneuver of charging into the enemy front line to spot things that shoot at them. So hopefully someone else will avenge them by blowing up the guys who just blew them up. There's a lot of blowing up going on here in war game. I 
Yeah, after that initial rush, things have definitely died down quite a bit. You have some Panzer Dakaris going to be fighting on through riflemen pretty effectively as those Panzer Dakaris are rather nasty infantry troops to grow up against. We do have the mortar trying to even the playing field, but yeah, riflemen aren't that great, really. Pretty mediocre. But the main thing still is that Tome does have just that foothold in to go. And he's still getting that plus two. He's almost at 200 points. This is getting a little bit silly now. Arkwood really needs to buy a command vehicle. He's going to have a lot of points that he's going to have to catch up to. And judging by how things are going, I'm guessing he's only really going to get effectively a plus one lead because Bravo can be captured, Golf can be neutralized, and... Same with Foxtrot as well. Like he really needs to either fully capture one of these points if he really wants to have a foot in the game later on down the line. I'm seeing a little bit of skirmish in here and Foxtrot as Panzer are trying to move up here. Reifman are trying to roar them back but it is just enough firepower of the T-72 and the transport units here. Dropping in the smoke to save his Abrams from an untimely death from that Ralph and RCT 72. But here comes the Cobra to try and come and clutch it. But never mind, the APCs with auto cannons are very good anti aircraft units up close. Let's see if they'll finish Bushmaster 2, which is an American gun, but it's very. Like, what makes the fin so bloody good is they get all this very useful. Equipment. They've got American equipment, Russian equipment. And these transports are bloody fast and very effective for the price. Fantastic for that early game rush. And of course having the F-18 with the Ripple Fire. Here we go, actually seeing an A-10 being brought out. Rather rare shite, unfortunately, in war game, as it usually just gets shot down immediately by lots of heavy anti-aircraft units. But with well, not much anti-air... You can actually fly around and get a good kills with this Thunderbolt. I do hope we see a gun run, yo. Even though it's not the most efficient way to really use the Thunderbolt, let's be real here. You're really just using it as a maverick launching machine. But, you know, it's it's the Thunderbolt. You've got to see it go, bruh. But surprisingly, I've gotten a few kills uh, shooting down airplanes with the Thunderbolt. Once it gets behind an airplane with that gun, the airplane usually just evaporates. No, it's a rather rare occurrence. Arkwood is actually making good holds into Foxtrot here, actually capturing the hill, so he is going to have a point completely under his control, which is what he needs, but still, that plus two bleed is just getting stupid. Tome is already at 262 points. We do see a CV into Charlie being brought in, but he is not unloading it, as he's probably just has not realised he has arrived yet, so it's going to be a few extra points go into Tome's advantage. Oh, here we go. I missed the gun run. I am ever so sorry, but we did get to see it go, bro. He's going to evac. I'm definitely going to force Arkwood to invest a little bit more in some anti-air, I think. As he can't really be affording to let his T-72 die to an A-10 Thunderbolt. And that is going to force Arkwood off that hill position for now, allowing Tome some time to Get some reinforcements up under here. There we go, CV finally being unloaded on Charlie, bringing it back to a zero, 0 But Tom's in a really good spot. He really just has to defend for the rest of the match. He has such a huge point lead. And Arkwood is going to need a plus two point lead. Like, starting five minutes from now at least. To try and get a good lead. That's going to be pretty hard. Both sides is bringing in reinforcements, lots of infantry, a little bit more anti-F market, but only those SU-57s, which are pretty mediocre. Once again, that Finnish infantry really proven to be an absolute killer in a forest fight. Uh, it's really the problem with American National Dex, your regular riflemen 
are just not really that good. The Marines, Marines 90 is not bad. Same with the Delta Force and the Rangers are decent. But in these forest fights, you just don't really have that much firepower in terms of infantry. SU-57 just warding off any extra rifle attacks here. I think if Tom really wants to try and get into fog truck, he's going to need an Abrams, and preferably a good run. Arkrid does have that plus run now, because he does have Gove under his control, but once again, this is the possibility of being neutralized from Tom. It's not a whole lot of areas you could really put it. The best place is really in this village, but it is a, an exposed position, really. But it is still possible to be neutralized. I mean, Bravo, there we go. We got CV being brought into Bravo here. And, yeah, Tom pretty much has this completely under his control. I don't think he's going to really face too much resistance down here. And usually Bravo just goes easily to the left hand side just due to the positioning of the map. We also see that A-10 Thunderbolt being brought in. So not a whole lot of heavy anti-air here, so... He can probably get another strafing run or two. He's just waiting for the perfect opportunity to see that T-72 pop out. Yo, if I was Arncrud, I would not want to be moving that T-72 anywhere. And we are seeing Tome flank around a little bit to go securing the southern forest area here. Which is going to be a pretty important position for him to hold, as that's a very good area to stop any extra advancements into Gulf. You know, I'll see in a Salamandra. Trying to snipe an APC if it can actually hit with its ATGM. Spend all that ammunition to blow up a single flight point and run run free. Rifleman really getting a little bit risky trying to flank around the hill here, but taking some fire on the T-72, and even these SPGs can get in on the action as well. It's a very rare scene, SPG troops. It can be pretty rough for all, as it's some nice long range and rather cheap firepower. Hey, if it's 0, zero neutralization, Tome just... He's still in a really good spot, and he's actually going to be getting a CV under Foxtrot here to neutralize that. Or capture it, I should speak. And same thing with Arkwood, he's going to be bringing a CV to Foxtrot as well, so that's just going to keep his point neutralized. There we go, the SPGs and the Scots in a lovely position to... Shoot anything that tries to attack and to go fear. Getting some good long range suppressive hits. I don't think Tome is really going to make that much headway into Gulf. Really pushing heavily into Gulf from the left hand side is very difficult. You have a lot of forests you have to go to. You have to knock out not one, but two village positions. It's a very bloody fight. It can be rough for all if you do completely secure it. Once you completely capture it, it is very easy to hold. You just put some ATGM and infantry troops here and here, and you've got two very nice choke points which you can pretty easily secure. F-18 Eagle coming in, shooting down the airplane. I've seen Tom trying to flank around the southern side of Foxtrot here. That Finnish infantry is going to hold the forest very effectively. That's, uh... They're still taking some fire, but they should be able to beat out the riflemen. I mean, the Eric troops are also helping out quite a bit as well. Our CV is going to be neutralizing Bogstrot very shortly, and this is still not looking very good for Arkrid, which is almost halfway through the match, and he's going to have to catch up by 230 points, which is, well, a lot of points.
Orofimanasi holding surprisingly well, taking quite a few casualties on the Jakari troops. They don't have their machine guns on right now, I think that's more for an ambush region. Definitely losing out a little bit of firepower here. Now it's again hit by the mortar. I'm not going to have a very nice time. And the mortar is just going to be pounding away. MiG-29 here trying to scare off that Thunderbolt. Does so successfully, but does not get does not get the shoot down, unfortunately, of his two missile salvo. Oh, we got Salamandra here trying to go for a CV snipe, I guess. Or he used up two of his ATGM show. We are seeing smoke on the LAV CV. Here we go, Pivaz in a very clutch position. Gonna be shooting that down easy peasy style. But uh, would probably, that uh, should hopefully alert Arkwood to, hey, it's probably a CV here. Maybe I should bomb it. Oh, I've seen a very risky push here from the T-72 moving up. Almost unsupported. The SU-57 is coming a little bit later. A-10 Thunderbolt tries to go in, loses line of sight. Taking some heavy fire from the SU-57s. Does actually go down here. If you forget up close, these SU-57s are not terrible. And these are the Finnish SU-57s, which are slightly improved, if I recall, compared to like the regular action and these some block runs. I'm not entirely sure on that. It's, it's been a little while since I've used them. And Tome is still trying to maneuver into go here. And see if he does go down, so it's going to be giving Arkwood that nice plus run. But Tome still has good positioning to put a CV in Fox Rot or Ghost Steel, and that's exactly what he's going to be doing ASAP. It's actually pushing really heavily into Ghost, bringing a crap ton of infantry to try and move in here. Fortunately, a lot of his lakeside position has been shot up, and the SPG is almost useless, completely out of ammunition. Almost completely out of ammunition. If he can, if he can fully capture Gulf, that's pretty much a GG, I would say. And there's a good amount of infantry in here, but there's also a lot of American troops as well. I think it's really going to force Arkra to bring in a lot of reinforcements up here. Let's again some mortar troops, which will, yeah, mortar troops, which would definitely be useful. Yeah, this is just a huge trough of stuff. I could really need to get some bombing runs or heavy firepower up here, because this is just a horde of infantry. Yeah, it's going to be a CV being brought into Gulf here as well, so Fox neutralize in a minute, and Gulf being captured, that's going to give Tome the plus run. But the Finnish infantry are holding pretty strong... Even though they're rather small in numbers, we're finally going to get some resupply on the ATGM troops here. But this is so many guys. I mean, heck, the American infantry isn't great, but you can spam a lot of riflemen as they are fairly cheap. The SU-22 uh, sniping the Abrams. We have more, to, yeah, the Shikaris from the far town are going to be rushing up to try and secure this village. I'm so quite surprised I haven't seen a bombing run or mortars onto this position yet, because this is a very clumped up area. Even the command infantry getting into it, he has get spotted and he is going to be taking some river in fire. From the mortar piece. T-72 
E72 should help even the odds. As there's real no heavy anti tank here from Toma Torta's infantry. He's got some spaddos being brought in to really seal the deal. I think Arkrod is just going to have enough firepower to, to hold on to his position in Gulf. Well, it's definitely drawn quite a lot of reinforcements and firepower. There we go, MiG-29. I see. Oh yeah, it's just a fighter run. It's going to get completely hit up by the pip arch and forced to evac after taking a bit of minigun fire. I've seen a lot of push down here from home with some riflemen, but this is a pretty nasty position. He's really not going to make much progress. And the Spados are going to be counter-attacking now. A lot of Tom's infantry is starting to fall back a bit. Yeah, Tom was very close to really getting that position. I think he just needed some more heavier firepower to try and deal with the Jakaris, but it is dangerous bringing in tanks and vehicles to try and do that. This is a pretty close quarters area. No Shikaris have... Oh, well, not Shikaris, so to speak. You know, they do have... I do have eight rocket launchers. Rocket launchers at close range is not ideal. Even though they're only laws, they're not the best thing in the world, of course. But still, for light armored vehicles, you don't really want to get a shot by anything that has heat ammunition. The main thing is, his Tome still has that plus run. He's at 300 points already. And it's just really not looking good for Arkrod. He's really been forced on defensive since that Gulf attack. He's doing a little bit of a counter attack now, but I don't feel like he's going to make a whole. I mean, he could make a good amount of progress and at least knock out the CV here. Really be fast enough. He does have his Panzer car. He's getting into a good position. He can get him onto the road, he can start sniping reinforcements. SU-22. Yeah, he went for the M1 on freeze. I think he didn't have sight on the Abrams. Rather odd calling, yeah. Yeah, Arkrod is making a good counter-attack, and he needs to. He needs to get some territory as soon as possible. But if that, yeah, losing by his plus one still. He's gonna need a plus two, really? No, he's really gonna need a plus three if he wants to take his victory. Which is pretty unlikely, all things considering. I get have to capture Gold Fox Trot and really try and get into Echo, and move into Echo is, is pretty much impossible. You have to trade really efficiently and really rush into his point. There's so much defense in areas which you have to contend with. I've seen the Cobra being brought in for some fire support. they are not wanting to get too close forever. At least Arkrod is going to get out the forward position once again on Gulf. But still, it's neutralized, so it's not really going to matter. He's just got a little bit of skirmishing down south, but, you know, really nothing. I'm always quite surprised on this map that you never see people on this right-hand flank try and at least neutralize Bravo, because this is a very easy point to neutralize, at least. You don't have to get into the village. You just have to secure this forest. You put a CV infantry somewhere. Your opponent has to play a game of Battleship to try and snipe it, and you just put all the scary Finnish infantry troops in here to stop any riflemen or marines or any American infantry Moving up close. I feel like Arkwood has definitely fell to a little bit of tunnel vision on his northern and central flanks. Like it's very hard to completely capture Bravo as it's not the best supply line. You pretty much have to unload here and walk through it. As you, Unless you completely capture this area here, you cannot go up the road as you will get sniped by ATGMs and tanks. And that's not ideal for your vehicles. They prefer not to get sniped, if I recall. DV does go down in the northern sector here and go for, I can remember the name of the bloody sectors. It's not really going to matter, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Tommy has such a huge points lead. And he can afford to lose Foxtrot too, really. 
Like, just as long as he doesn't lose by, you know, a plus three, he's gonna be fine. He can sit back pretty easily. You know, gonna be a CV being brought up. Probably back into golf. And Alcrud is actually making a very concert per concerted push on Foxtrot here. Going to be completely capturing the point and getting that plus one. But once again, he needs that plus two. I do feel like he has a pretty good uh, chance of completely capturing the hill. If he can knock out his light rifleman and keep his T-72 alive, he could put it on the edge of the hill and maybe start engaging. Same time as the HA Abrams, and he's going to move up and... He's uh, pretty nasty to T-72s. He doesn't like that kind at all. I've yeah, seen smoke being dropped in to allow Tome to rush in the sneaky CV to neutralize Gofront again. Very good play. I don't know how long he's going to last, but just as long as he neutralizes that point for a little bit, that's going to give Tome all the leeway he needs. And T-72 does go down on Foxtrot here, so it's going to allow Tome to bring in some more infantry to try and retake the point. Well, the Panzer Jakari sign a pretty good defensive position here. Oh, and the Arix managed to flank the Abrams, does not get the kill, however. Or are they? Nope, they get suppressed. H. Abrams has taken it like a champ. And there we go, does finish off the infantry troop here. Could have been very costly losing that H. A. Abrams, but fortunately he does have some rather thick armor. Make 29, I don't know what he's doing there, flying right over a bunch of miniguns. It's not good for your health. You know, I've seen a Russ into Gofear, which actually is going to yeah, knock out that attack arms infantry. And get into that point, but once again, Arcrid. It's all coming a little bit too late. If he was to neutralize Bravo now, he could get a plus two, which would be quite nice, but still it's not it's not gonna be enough with only six minutes left. And there's a very good chance of Foxtrot being recaptured here. Now we got a command Abrams being brought in, bringing in the heavy guns. Arkwood is definitely trying to push very desperately here, moving out of Gulf, trying to flank around down south, but you're only really gonna you're only really gonna get so far doing that. There we go, Foxtrot is now neutralized once again. Now this is pretty much going to be a GG's toe match for sure. There we go, Nikol gets he covered into Nuko's T-72, so only gets run of him. Arkwood has meant to get a good position on Goof, at least, completely capturing his southern forest area, now rushing in the Salamandras, but 
not really going to make that much of a difference. Who's going to win this fight? It is the Spados, of course. Oh, here you go. AJ-10 <laughs> just rushing in to snipe the command Abrams like a champ. Little helicopter can do big things. Here goes the final seconds of the match. Yeah, it's going to be a good game to Tome taking a victory. Wow, very, like, pretty close on kills. And surprisingly, Arkra did manage to trade more efficiently. Yeah, that's for damn sure. But losing by a plus two bleed for so long really screwed over Arkra. He was doing pretty good that match in terms of offensive plays. And if you're short towards the end, he did get good territory. But... By that time, it was pretty much over. He really needed to get that CV earlier on into his home spawn. Because I feel like he could have made some better progress if he... Because he did get points progress later on in the match and was starting to push a bit. Especially around in Fox Trot encounter, pushing up north in Gulf. But it just was not enough. And once again, we see Bravo just be completely ignored. Like it's such an easy point for the right-hand flank to just neutralize. You don't have to completely capture it. You're just pretty much giving your enemy a very easy command control area to control in the center. And that really leaves you having to fight over the other two, which... Like, well, if the southern one is going to be completely barren, and you're not going to attack any... Or your opponent's not going to really have any defenses down there, so he's just going to spend all his money defending the other two, spawn, other two command sectors. And just as long as your opponent holds one of those command sectors... He's going to be fine. He's going to have two of the three command sectors, which really what this map boils down to is having that two out of three middle sectors here. But yeah, it is a shame because Arkwood was doing pretty good here. But uh, yeah, good game for you to manage to play out very efficiently and get the objectives and get all the bloody points because it's all about the command points in the end of the day. And well, I'm going to leave it off. Yeah, this has been another Rangaroo car, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as usual, please just take it easy.